This is my next project. It is built out of craft sticks and paper clay and painted with acrylic paint. I also used some twist ties to make the little pipes. And then it will be going on a building, which is just a wood box, which will be my second project connected to the water tower. And the inside of the building will be the third part. I have a total fascination with water towers. So I'm gonna take this little container and use this as my base to bring the cylindrical shape around. So I'll make this go around with the cardboard and then I'll add the little pieces of wood on afterwards on the cardboard. So I'll score that so it turns and then glue it onto the cardboard and glue those together. What I did was I took this craft stick and measured a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch, like right here, just did this, and then came across, and then just brought this over here, same thing. And then brought this across like this. Actually, I took this, it was a lot easier to take and go like this with the little lines because the, the ruler is a little bit long. It have to be perfect because the wood is going to go all the way around and water towers are always generally on these buildings made of wood. They last longer and um, there's like three companies that make these water towers in the city, New York City. But you see water towers all over the United States, probably all over the world. Um, and they're quite fascinating. But so this is what I do, and then take a knife like this and just be careful and just score. It's easier to score on the along the grain of the wood than it is to go the opposite direction. So I just sort of like give it a couple, you can see it's tearing it. Give it a couple little scores in there. Put that in there. So I scored all of the lines on the cardboard and you can see it turns really nicely now. And I'll put it on here. You can see it's a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna glue it and tape it so it holds nicely. I'm gonna use this tacky glue. It really works well on almost anything. A little bit right here. A little bit on this side too. I'm going to do the bottom right now, so I'm just going to trace this, this cardboard get as close as I can and just trace this shape. I cut out the bottom. And what I did is, like, as I showed you, I just traced it and cut it out. So I'm just going to glue that on the edges. Stick that here and let that dry. So I'm going to just start gluing. I, I'll start on this side of the seam. I did a bunch of cuts already. I'm just going to do enough glue. So I don't get ahead of myself. Do this. Actually take one of these extra sticks and even that out a little bit. Get it right up to the edge on both sides. And grab for my little pile that I already cut. And place this down. And I'll continue to glue these until I get all the way around. Well, I'm almost done here. I just have a couple of little pieces of wood to glue. Took a minute to do everything because I didn't, it didn't work as well as I thought by pre-measuring everything because the wood was all different shapes. As you can see, it's like I cut them and they're, they're um, similar in size, but not perfect. When this comes out of here, have the water tower 
So I got the top in, just waiting for it to set in with the glue. Now I've got top and bottom. I put the second bottom in and then cut a little bit here. Then I'll sand. When this sets up, I'll sand everything. So now I'm on to this phase. I tried doing this little piece on top that didn't work so well. I'm not sure this is going to work any better, but I need to give it a shot because I'm trying to get this point without getting too radical with how high I go. So this is in the middle. It's a little piece of paper, this hard cardstock, adding these little uh, soft pieces of, of uh, cotton now, believe it or not, and just bring it around with the wet glue. And I'm going to follow this around, and then all I'll do is I'll um, formulate the cone by bringing the pieces of paper little by little, kind of like a paper mache, but with just the glue and the soft paper. Let this harden up. Just going to do a little sanding. I still have some glue on my fingers, but there's glue that's on the wood. I still have the top drying, but I'm going to do a little sanding just to get it looking a little bit nicer. And when I go to paint it, it will look a lot cleaner without all the little glue. You just do the bottom and the edges as well. I'm working on the bottom now. I'm putting, I moved to these sticks. These are just uh, skewers, little wood sticks, bamboo. And I made a little hole here and then took this and just like whittled a little bit of it to make a little point on all the corners. So when it goes in there, it goes in a little bit more snugly. And then I'll put glue here. Might have to open the hole a little bit more. And so I take that little point and just sort of move it until I get it into place. Making sure that these are pretty even so that when they go down, they're holding up the water tower. So I'll get those all in, one there and one there. Now I'm putting, uh, for braces, I'm putting the little pieces of wood that I cut earlier from the, from the, the stick, uh, craft stick. I'm putting these little cut pieces that'll go around here and down here and if I have the space, little cross braces. So that'll add detail plus make it stronger and it, it has it in my drawing too. So I got this far on the project. I put the little supports around here. I just have to sand off some of the glue and um, this came out pretty well. This is just the tissue paper, toilet paper, and the support of the piece of paper going around. So when I go to paint it, I just have White House paint that has primer in it. I'll just do that on everything. And that's my base coat. And I'll, for, I'll clean up all the edges first and then go from there. So all these little rough edges will be gone. I'll sand all this, but it's coming along. See, so this is this so far. The little tissue paper dried nicely, and now I'm actually using um, this creative paper clay, which is super. Um, you have to keep a little bit moist. I got water, and just I'm pinching it to make it a little bit flat, and then I'll add the little pieces and just go around the cone. I'm just smoothing it in and I'll go around again once it gets a little bit more it dries a little bit more and also filling in some of these lines like that with the clay so it makes it a little bit nicer take a little stick
just go in little pieces. Smooth it so you can see it coming around. Got this side going. And this is what I'm trying to emulate on there. Now I'm ready to put a primer onto the water tank. I use house paint that has primer in it. Let's take a small detail brush and get in there. And it has a little bit of water in it, so it'll actually smooth out. I don't want it too thick on the primer. Before I get too much further, I'm going to put on these two little pipes I made out of the skewer, this little bamboo skewer. I added the little pipe going that way, so I'll attach it right there on both of them. And made the ladder out of the craft stick. I'm going to use uh, different washes to make this water tower look aged. So I have some burnt sienna, or raw sienna, and white and black. I sort of just do a little bit of a mixture on all of them. And I'm just going to come down, sort of just doing the washes and everything. The top, I think I'm going to do more of a darker color like this, and then add a little different, maybe a little white to it too. So it's just not all one color because it wouldn't be new. Obviously it's been around. And I'm just going to bring all this around like that. Add the black in there just on the edges and pull down. And wash it like this. So there's going to be lines that are going to go horizontal on it that um, must be the what holds the wood together. Wash this. And on the little pipes, I'm going to paint those. I think I'll start out with black, maybe black and gray, and make them look more industrial. I have a silver paint too, but I don't want to go straight with silver. It's hard to see it. So I'll just paint all these now. And then this one I added on. You can see that's the skewer and I didn't prime it so I'll just paint it right now. I like to prime everything because it makes the colors um, look better on the actual finished pieces with the primer and if I want to sand it, it actually adds as like a buffer between the raw wood and um, the, the actual finished piece. I'm just going to do a little wash and then do all under here. I'll do this black. It's little, so it's hard to get into everything. Just keep moving it around. The black makes it look nice. It's a little bit much, but oh pull some of this off. I'm going to give it some depth. And scrub away at it. Get that piece on the top painted. And this is going to go on top of the building I'm making, the New York City little apartment. It's it's going to be a table piece like you can put on a shelf, but it's going to have a little um, a little room, vignette of a room, two rooms, an upstairs and a downstairs. The downstairs will be the kitchen and, and living area, and the upstairs will be a, a bathroom and a bedroom. It's like a New York City skyline looking out the window. So you can see this is the beginning of the wash. It's messy, but I'll, I'll straighten it out. But I want it to look really aged. So you can see by doing all the different washes on it, it starts to look interesting. Just get in there. My dog is snoring. Um, and just get in here all in there. So I'm just sticking the paintbrush all in there. And get on this ladder. I'm like the ladder black to start with. And then I'll come back and and figure out what to do with it, but I think the black might make it interesting. 
and that's just made with the craft sticks that I cut up in glue. So they're not perfect, but that's okay. And on these legs, I'm going to make them darker. I think it adds to a more depth if they're black and then the tower is the lighter colors with the black streaks in them. So this is going to take a little bit of working through because the white is so predominant from the primer going around and around until it evens out. But you can see it takes a little bit of time to just be patient and go through. And you want to really be good about going all the way through and looking for everything because it would look terrible if you left anything unpainted. It's coming around like this. Let me go right under here. Let's come over here with the pipes. Then I'm going to also make these wires that go into the wider tower and a little tank later. But I'm just working on this for now. I'm using a nice detail brush. So this is um, a burnt sienna. Bird Sienna, Raw Sienna, Black and White. I like working with these colors. I think they really add to when you want to age something. They're really good colors. I also use Payne's Gray, but I don't have that right now out on my palette. Payne's Gray has like a little bit more of a bluey tone to it. But it's a really great color to work with. But it's nice to just make all these washes and detail work or just take a little bit of paint and go back and forth on it to add a little brightness So bold. I do want the pipes a little bit brighter so I'm going to bring a little bit more white onto those and those will be, you know, have their own thing going on. I like what's going on with the, the, the top part and um, the side of the building. Um, I'll go around and look. I see a, a piece of glue that needs to be uh, taken down with a, a little exacto knife. Um, and then just keep going on. Or I have a little paint in the brush and I just go like that and it's a dry brush. There's not a lot of paint left in it. And um, then this will go a little darker so I'll just go straight in there and just detail this little top part. I'm coming in here with the black to outline you can see in here there's a little shadow where the roof overhangs and because I didn't do that I'm just going to draw a little attention to the edge. So I put the lines around now I'm just taking a little bit of a, the white with a little color in it and coming above the lines just to add a little something and that'll blend right into it's not going to stick out too much. I'm going to do some polying. This is a polyacrylic by Minwax. I love this. It's really um, a very strong and yeah it doesn't yellow at least I haven't seen it to yellow crystal clear top coat um, I, it's a really uh, great it's also water based um, I put it in these little cups inside of a container and then close it so I can use it over and over so I don't really work out of the can because if you have paint uh, the going into the can you'll you'll contaminate it so I just pour it in here and work from another container Poly, the first coat, so it just doesn't take much. I just load up the brush and go around and go underneath, go everywhere. You want a nice coat. I just finished putting on these little pipes. I made them out of a twist tie, cut them from here, and then you can see the tacky glue, and they need to set up. And that finishes off my project for the water tower and it'll go on the building that's on the next project.